Uh, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, I got some more plays for you today out of the Saints. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Saints plays lately. If you guys watch my gameplay videos, you know uh, that I use the Saints pretty much exclusively right now. If you guys haven't been following my channel, I have a full breakdown video of the Saints. Uh, as well as a full ebook, which is basically just like a, a list of links to each individual uh, formation and the best plays and the best setups in them. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, all that information is in the description below. Other than that, I'll go ahead and I'll get into the first play. This one right here, I use this quite a bit. Uh, it's out of the weak wing. I would say, you know, I probably have like five different formations that I go through consistently, and the weak wing is one of them. I would say there's really only about three plays um, that I would do. I don't think there's going to be a part two to this video, uh, but this is definitely one of the uh, the more guaranteed, um, you know, nice catch and run plays that I run. Uh, but basically, it's the, uh, I'll go ahead and pick the play first. It's the, uh, uh, the PA tight end slide there at the bottom. Now, one of the best things about this is, is one of these routes is pretty much open uh, every time and that route's going to be the fullback now since the fullbacks aren't typically that good of receivers or very athletic uh, you can hit the r1 button and then put in your best um, receiving either you know running back with speed so i'm going to guess kimura here or kamara is the guy because i know some people like to bitch about how i pronounce names uh, in the comment section uh, so kamara here would probably be a pretty good option. I think I think uh, uh, Lasco is actually pretty fast too, but Kamara is probably the best one. So without thinking, I mean, if you have a good tight end, I think like Claiborne's a decent speed tight end. Um, I do it quite a bit with Evan Ingram because he's also a good blocker, so I don't have to constantly remember to switch out. Uh, but I'm gonna go in this particular play. I'm gonna go with Kamara because I want my I want the most speed. I want the best receiver here. So we'll go ahead and pick that. And then I'll pick the play. Uh, like I said, PA tight and slide the bottom. We'll go ahead and we'll match formations. You're going to see heavy formations. If somebody comes out on something small, you're going to switch it up and pound it. So if somebody comes out on a nickel or a dime, obviously you want to audible out of it. But either way, we're going to go with a random 4-3. Now this play, there's there's a couple of different things you can do with it, but realistically, there's no setup. I mean, if you want to, motioning out the uh, the fullback who's now a a uh, tight end is not a bad option. Although I don't feel it's necessary. Sometimes the, the one that I do the most is I like the motion in this guy uh, because basically, if it's a cover three, he's going to get open right to cover three seam. I feel like he pulls coverage in because I'm really looking at that running back fullback. Uh, anyway, Camara. I keep having to remember to say it that way, um, but yeah, I, I'm both. I'm basically looking his way. So if I pull in this receiver, if the linebacker was supposed to drop down, a lot of times pulling this receiver in will make sure that it doesn't happen that the linebacker doesn't drop down. So I'll go ahead and I'll just run this play. Sometimes I cancel the play action right away, especially when people are sending blitzes. But you just see how much separation that guy has. He's got a good 10 yards. This route's kind of glitchy like that. I don't know what it is, but Camara. It, unless it's a hard flat, it's typically open every time. So we'll go ahead and we'll carry this out again. Sometimes I find if somebody's sending some seriously crazy heat, you gotta lob it up right away. Like if somebody's sending a, a lot of pressure, sometimes you just gotta hit R2 right away and then just lob it out. Um, although there, I really didn't have to, but I'm just saying you might have to. I find I have to sometimes. Man coverage, I'd say, is probably the best way to cover Kamara. I'm going to say Kamara because <laughs> it's more comfortable for me. But it's one of the best ways to cover Kamara. And uh, the, then if it is a man coverage, Fleener is typically going to be the guy that's open. But this is essentially just a flood concept uh, with these three options here. And we're going to go up top to Thomas. That was a nice catch. I, I don't know. I didn't think he was going to hold on to that. Uh, but it's not the most exciting play. It's just a guaranteed play. You know what I mean? It's like it's a guaranteed 5 to 10 yard catch and run, which is why I run it as much as I do. Um, you know, there, that was kind of a weird catch animation. But like I said, you can get 5 to 10 every time. Um, so we'll go ahead and run this a couple times. The circle route here is one of the, uh, probably the least that I throw to. But you can see how everybody else turns into a blocker for the circle route. That doesn't really work out too well um, for the triangle route. The triangle route's typically on an island. As I'll go ahead and I'll turn that up. Um, but the, uh, the circle route, for whatever reason, gets the best blocking. So that's pretty much it. Not a lot there. This motion, though, I, I will point out now that this motion in the next play is going to be important as well. Um, so, you know, it'll it'll mirror. Uh, the motions will mirror each play. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. Like I said, I mean, there's a lot of plays that I like out of the weak wing. 
um, but they're not in this particular playbook. Uh, the Saints playbook only has a few, uh, but the, I originally found the PA Titan slide that I just showed you in the Titans playbook, so it's probably still in there too. So if you're looking for that in another playbook, that's one of them. Uh, but my second favorite uh, pass play is the post shot. So just like the last play, it's beneficial, especially if it's a cover three or cover two, like here, to motion in this, uh, this square route. Um, and the reason for that's simple. You can see it goes right up that seam. I don't know if that was a cover two or cover three. It didn't matter, though. If you decide to leave Thomas out for whatever reason, these tight ends are pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of pass protection there. Uh, but there's not a lot of adjustments in either one of these plays. They're both really adequately designed um, by, the, by themselves. And you get pretty good blocking, too. Um, considering, and that's a nice big cover two play right there. Um, that's the other thing. When you motion them in, it's a really good cover two play. Uh, it's good cover two, good cover three. It doesn't really matter. I mean, this is this is a good route, uh, bottom line. So, uh, but not a lot. Like I said, no adjustments really. Oh, they're sending the house there. That was like an engage eight. That's weird, man. The computers do some weird stuff like that. Engage eights. You're never really gonna see that online. Uh, but the computer does it all the time. So, like I said, good blocking. They're sending some house blitzes. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you have the option as well if you want to keep uh, with Kimura uh, finishing this flood concept. You can always put him on a swing right, um, and that'll just help to pull coverage down a little bit. It'll help to get the circle route open mostly uh, would be the purpose for that. Yeah, whatever user that you're playing is really going to have to choose between the high and low, uh, which is Fleener and, uh, and Hill. And whatever one they choose, you basically just make sure you hit the other one. If you're going to hit the drag route, though, make sure you're past leading up so they turn up field. If I don't pass the, you can see here, this is just a, uh, an easy tip, um, as I actually can't throw the, <laughs> I wanted to throw the circle route to show you an easy tip, but he was covered, so we'll move on to that. But uh, but yeah, if you're throwing to the circle route, here, once again, I can't because I keep dropping down. <laughs> I mean, you're getting an idea what the read looks like anyway. Like I said, there's probably not gonna be a part two to this. Uh, at least that's not my intention. Uh, but I'm gonna at least show you guys uh, one more, um, running play uh or i'm sorry i haven't shown any run plays yet but i'll show you guys one run play uh to keep balance you always got to keep balance when it comes to this stuff and the best run play by far is the halfback power out so we'll go and pick that uh, but this year i mean you already have all your blocking on one side all this really does is emotions over kamara who i should have changed to a fullback and i'll probably do that in a minute uh, but, but kamara will motion over and block and then um uh, your your uh, left guard also pulls uh, so you really have uh, addition, like I would say about four additional blockers on the one side. Uh, but like I said, I got to put in a real fullback. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna do that real quick. That's why I was saying earlier in the video, if you have a fast tight end, you also can block a little bit. Um, use him. Like if Clay Harbors fits that bill, which I don't think he does. But if he does, he'd be a good option uh, because then I wouldn't really have to worry about making the mistake of having a small running back blocking for me. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And we'll go we'll go back in. So, like I said, no no real adjustments. Um, you just have a lot of blocking. And I really thought that that guy would do a better job there to finish. Yeah, your really only read is your fullback. Um, if he if he gets to the edge uh, a lot of time, well, he didn't block anybody there. <laughs> wow, Kamara Kim is amazing. I don't know if, um, I've never used him. I don't know if he's been upgraded quite a bit because he's having a good year. But that was a nice play. I gotta try to get a Camaro on my on my mud team. He just seems like the truth right now. So actually, it wasn't even Camaro, was it? Was that Camaro? Was that Ingram? I don't know. But they they was a good run. I thought I looked down and saw Camaro's name, but it looks like Ingram. But either way, I mean the guy looks the guy looks and feels pretty quick. So here we get a nice stiff arm. Oh, that's a good block. Yeah, yeah, Ingram, man. Let me tell you, I always liked this guy in Madden too. He didn't always have the best uh, career in real life, but he was always a good Madden running back. But yeah, just watch your fullback. If he kicks out the outside block, you got to go up inside. Like there, um, he kind of... that That's a run where I really should have tried to get more outside. Which I did not do. But uh, his blocking, like there, he kicks that he kicks that cornerback out. And 89, he blocks nobody. Jackass. Could have easily sprung me. But if he kicks that cornerback out, i got to get up inside behind him. And like there, he just sets the edge. So now I gotta take the edge. I gotta take it wide. Real simple reads. So we're gonna run this once more, once more, so I can try to get that look here once again. It looks like he's gonna set that edge, so I gotta get wide. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna house this one again, or not, or not. 
Didn't have the speed, it's all good though. I wanna see what that inside cluster block, I call it a cluster block, but um, like there. See how he got up to the next level and they kicked out on the uh, on the corner? I mean, that's just, that's just the look right there. So we got a couple of house calls, a couple of big plays, and we'll go ahead and end the video. So definitely a really good formation. Like I said, th this formation is probably better out of different playbooks, but I want to stick to the to the Saints uh, videos for the most part. Uh, one, because like I said, I have a full breakdown video of it. Two, because I use it the most. And I know a lot of people are watching my gameplay videos and kind of, you know, trying to mirror what I do in them. So uh, I figure it's best to just kind of break these down, shout these out and break these down in their own videos. Um, other than that, that's the end of the video. If you guys want to see more Saints, as always, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.